Hi there, I'm your English coach Christina and welcome to Speak English with Christina where you'll learn about American culture and business know-how to become confident in English. Do you like watching TV? Most Americans watch TV and I'm going to take a guess that you enjoy watching TV too. The only thing Americans enjoy more than watching TV is talking about their favorite TV series with their friends and colleagues. In this episode, we'll cover some of the basic vocabulary to know so you can talk about your favorite TV series in English. And if you're looking for a good show to watch, I'll suggest a few of my favorites too. Let's go. You probably know by now that if you're serious about learning English, you must practice speaking in English. And the more often you practice your English, the more natural and spontaneous you'll feel when you speak English. If you're interested in gaining fluency faster and being able to have natural conversations in English, then join my Faster Fluency Conversation Club. The conversation group meets three times per week and is guided by one of my fantastic expert English teachers who will help you with your vocabulary, correct your mistakes, and much more so you can gain fluency faster. If you're watching television in English, you're probably very proud of yourself when you understand what the actors are saying and you can follow along with the storyline. You may feel like, I'm the king of the world! Or, if you're feeling like you didn't quite understand something, you might feel like saying, Hello, Newman. It's a reference from Seinfeld. It's an old American sitcom, very popular. Look it up. Can you tell? I watch a lot of media. For most people, the experience of watching a television show and getting caught up in the story or fascinated by it is a social experience. You want to share it with others. And one way to do this is to have a conversation about the TV series that you're watching or enjoyed. Following your favorite TV series and talking about it with others isn't just a great way to practice your English, it's also a great way to make English speaking friends. Fans of your favorite show may be friendships waiting to blossom. So how do we talk about television shows? We need to know certain television vocabulary words. Episode. An episode is one installment of the TV series. It's kind of like a, a chapter in a book. An episode may be 22 minutes in duration or 60 minutes in duration. How many minutes in an episode varies depending on the TV series. Here's an example. Last night's Game of Thrones episode was action-packed. Show. A show can mean either the name of the TV series or a single episode of the TV series. Episode and show can be used almost interchangeably. For example, what's your favorite show? My favorite show is Black Mirror. Or are you going to watch your show tonight? Or when is your show on? Season. A season is a group of episodes for your TV series. A TV series may run or be programmed for just one season. Or if your favorite scripted TV series is The Simpsons, uh, it's been on for 20 seasons. Season premiere. A season premiere is the very first episode of a season. It's like the birth of your television show. Oh, how cute. Season finale the last episode of a season. Often lots of twists and misdirections ending with a cliffhanger. These are very mean story developments because you often have to wait months until the next season begins before you can find out the reveal. For example, did you see last night's season finale? Binge watch, kind of like binge eating, but consuming or watching an entire TV series 
of episodes or shows in a single weekend or sitting. Yeah, I've done that a few times. Hmm. great. I'm your language teacher and I'm encouraging you to watch more television. I bet your school teachers never did that. If you're looking for some TV shows in English to get hooked on or addicted to, here are a few that I'm watching. I'm a huge fan of Amazon Prime series Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. This show is set in the 1950s in New York City and is about a woman who sets out on a career as a stand-up comic after her husband leaves her. Comedy is often one of the nuances of a language that are more difficult to understand for language learners because it requires understanding the culture in addition to vocabulary and grammar. So if you don't understand all the punchlines in this series, don't worry about it. Just watch and enjoy the humor as best you can. If you liked the movie with Bill Murray called Groundhog Day, then you may like the Netflix series Russian Doll. The premise or concept is, is very similar. Russian Doll is about a woman who experiences the same evening over and over again. And after the end of the evening, she dies in a different way each day. But then she wakes up the next day, which is really that same day as if nothing happened, but she can remember that she died and came back to life. Confused? Yeah, me too. It's confusing even for English speakers, but that's part of the fun is trying to understand what's happening in this woman's life and why does she die every day? And how does she come back to life? And then she meets a guy who has the same problem, and you have to see it. If you like sci-fi or horror, then you may enjoy Stranger Things. This Netflix show is set in the 1980s and the pop culture of that decade. If you grew up during the 80s, like me, then you may be able to relate on some level to this nostalgia. The series replicates the 80s fashion with stonewashed jeans and leg warmers, and even one of the cult actresses of the 1980s, Winona Ryder, is a main character. It's a lot of fun seeing her perform a role that goes beyond the usual teenage outcast that she played in the 1980s. Hopefully, it's a career comeback, but the series also has a fantastic soundtrack. That is, the music is great. And if you like Stephen King and are still fascinated by questions you asked when you were a kid, like, is that a monster under your bed? Then you'll like this show. Now, what about you? Are there any binge watch worthy TV series that you can recommend to your fellow English learners? If so, Share them in the comments below. And I'm happy that you want to practice your English and talk about your favorite shows. But if you want even more practice, consider my Faster Fluency Conversation Club. Members can participate in three group sessions per week. You'll be paired up in small groups with other motivated students and a fluency trainer, either Trisha or Kara. And the small group size ensures that you get plenty of practice to speak English and receive feedback on mistakes or ways that you can speak more colloquially so that you gain fluency faster. You can get all of the details about the Fluency Club by clicking on the link below. And you'll also get extra resources and a conversation guidebook to help you increase your vocabulary and become more confident in conversations. Thank you for watching Speak English with Christina, and I'll see you next time.